I'm Jim Bailey with InfoSuperior.com and we're coming to you from the very northern portion of Lake Superior in Ontario, Canada on Nipigon Bay. And I'm speaking today with Chuck Hutterly, a resident of uh, Nipigon Bay and a member of the, the newest environmental group in this area, a group that was recently formed in the Nipigon area. And uh, Nipigon uh, Bay residents uh, brought an issue to us uh, that they wanted to, to speak about at their very first meeting, which is on May 3rd, and that's microplastics. So Chuck, welcome. Can you oh. give us a bit of a, a background on the situation with respect to uh, microplastics on Nipigon Bay? Okay. These beads that I have in my hand come from an ac accident, a derailment eight years ago from CPR at Cavers Hill and they're still showing up. These beads just showed up here uh, almost two, a week ago in a severe storm and um, they're just continually coming and uh, you can see them here. It's very heavy. So, so Chuck, uh, eight years ago they're still washing up on the beaches. That's right. And uh, ha have there been any uh, any cleanups or? Uh, remedial was here uh, um, April 4th and they took 65 bags, 30, 35 pounds each uh, and had cleaned that and we had a storm after that and they're right back here again. And uh, so, so the railway, um, they have, uh, they have, uh, been part of those cleanup efforts? Have they, yes, they, have they, have they done you know, a, a good job on this? Or? A reasonably good job, but it needs to be more consistent. Uh, um, there's always a delay. When we get these in the windrow, they're fairly easy to pick up, but if there's like a week or two and people are walking on them and then they get disturbed and then it becomes even more difficult to pick up. So Chuck, I, I assume that uh, people like yourself uh, would really like to explore this is, this issue and and really try and get a better understanding of uh, why they continue to be here uh, after so many years uh, whether they are specifically from the train wreck or perhaps they're the they're part of this broader issue of microplastics across the Great Lakes um, is that the case you you, you want to get a better understanding or what I'd like to know where they're vectoring in from that's exactly right I, uh... If, if, if there's another site other than 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 uh, CPR, then then we should be aware of it and find out where they are. So um, what I'd like to conclude uh, by saying is that uh, if people are interested in the topic of microplastics, especially people from the Nipigon area, uh, we welcome you to the uh, meeting of this new environmental group, uh, May 3rd, at the Lake Helen Community Center, 7 p.m. And uh, if you can't join us uh, in person, and if you'd like to join us from any point around Lake Superior or beyond, infosuperior.com. Thanks very much, Chuck. You bet.